please welcome AJC co-chair and director of the Arthur and Rochelle Belfer Institute for Latin, Latino and Latin American Affairs, Dina Siegel, Van, and Mario Fleck. Twenty-five years after the July 18th attack against the AMIA Jewish Community Center in Buenos Aires, the Western Hemisphere remains on the front lines, confronting a global context in which democratic rule and principles are increasingly under assault, and the threat of terrorism is a clear and present danger. Despite ongoing and dire challenges, the governments and societies of the region, except for a few, continue to be anchored in a culture of democracy and human rights. Minorities, including thriving Jewish communities throughout the Americas, have benefited from a climate of inclusiveness and respect for diversity. But the rise in anti-Semitism in the United States and elsewhere has made the need to face this scourge as well as the continued global terrorist threat, a regional priority. The Organization of American States, the oldest and most prominent multilateral organization in the Western Hemisphere, plays an outsized role in promoting collaboration and solidarity among its 35 member states in the areas of democracy, human rights, security, and development. AJC was granted NGO status by OAS in 2005 and has remained a steadfast supporter of its critical mandate. Today's issues facing the OAS are daunting. The debacle in Venezuela, Cuban and Russian efforts to block democratic and peaceful solutions, the resulting refugee crisis, Nicaragua's descent into authoritarianism, the growth of Hezbollah's criminal footprint in the region, to name a few. No one has been better suited than the organization's visionary and courageous Secretary General to speak up loudly and clearly and rally the conscience of the Americas behind the core principles that the OAS upholds. Most immediately, Luis Almagro has been recognized as one of the key voices waking up the region to the urgent need for collective and decisive action against the hijacking of Venezuela by a tyrannical and criminal mafia and for the immediate restoration of democracy. A lawyer, diplomat, and politician, we first had the privilege of meeting Secretary General Almagro when he served as Foreign Minister of Uruguay. Then as now, we found him to be profoundly thoughtful, fair-minded, principled, and passionate, and an unwavering and fierce advocate of our shared causes, whether defending democracy, pursuing justice for the AMIA case, standing up in the Americas and beyond against the unlawful activity of terrorist entities such as Hezbollah, or strengthening the hemisphere's partnership with Israel to help address regional challenges. AJC deeply values Luis Almagro's inspired leadership of the Organization of American States and is proud to call this global statesman an ally and a friend. For exemplifying courageous and visionary leadership and for always being there when it counts, AJC proudly presents Luis Almagro today with our Champion of Democracy Award. Please join me in welcoming Secretary General Luis Almagro to the stage. Dear friends, it is an honor to receive this award 
which I accept on behalf of the millions of people who are today victims of hate and repression in the Americas. The fight for democracy and human rights is not an easy one, but it is the only way forward, especially in global and regional contexts in which voices that oppose the values of democracy and human rights have surged at an incredible speed. Attacks against democracy are on the rise. In the Western Hemisphere, those who attack democracy and human dignity have found fertile ground to operate in Cuba and Venezuela. And because evil breeds evil, and evil attracts evil, Latin American dictators in the 21st century have partnered with and acted alongside terrorist and anti-Semitic actors and organizations. Iran and Hezbollah, a terrorist organization, have a solid base of operations in South America in alliance with the illegitimate Maduro regime. This would have never have happened if there had been strong democratic institutions in place, a solid rule of law, and fearless defenders of democracy in our region. The international community must ensure that Venezuela find its path to peace and democracy again. The cost of not doing so would be too high. If we fail in Venezuela, it could represent a victory for terrorists, organized transnational crime, and anti-Semitism. A victory for impunity in the Western Hemisphere. For the OES, that would be immoral and unacceptable. Effectively fighting anti-Semitism here and around the world means fighting for democracy, for human rights, for stronger institutions and a culture of respect, respect and acceptance. The international community has a responsibility to counter anti-Semitism and xenophobia. There is absolutely no excuse for inaction or denial. The International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, after its plenary in 2016, adopted the definition of anti-Semitism, which, as of now, as Secretary General, I make it the official definition of anti-Semitism for the work of the Organization of American State General Secretariat. As it says, antisemitism is a certain perception of Jews which may be expressed as hatred toward Jews. Rhetorical and physical manifestations of antisemitism are directed toward Jewish or non-Jewish individuals and or their property, toward Jewish community institutions and religious facilities. To combat this hatred, we must work closely together. The American Jewish Committee has a long-standing presence in the Americas and close ties with local Jewish communities in Latin America. You are an essential partner of the OES, and you can count on our multilateral political platform for fight hatred, to educate, to increase awareness, and to help member states adopt measures and cooperate to fight anti-Semitism and terrorism. We <laughs> We must weaken hatred in its rhetorical state, and more so when it is translated into action. And our region is far from immune to the effects of terrorism, having witnessed the worst terrorist attack in the history of Argentina and the largest number of Jewish deaths from anti-Semitic terrorism outside Israel since World War II. The OES will work every day to achieve a hemisphere free of anti-Semitism, free of terrorism, free of dictatorships. We can achieve this. Acceptance, respect, and peaceful coexistence are possible. But we must do more, from the micro-local level to the multilateral level. We must do more to educate our people to have zero tolerance toward anti-Semitism. In all these efforts, the OES stands with the AJC, 
Thank you, and thank you again for this honor. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, history has just been made here in the words of Luis Almagro. Luis Almagro, as the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, has for the first time in, in, North, in, in Latin America expressed a commitment to adopt the working definition of anti-Semitism this is the first time it has happened in Latin America. It happened here, and it happened thanks to Luis Almagro. And I have never heard in my 30 years of dealing with Latin America as clear and crisp a denunciation of the activities of Iran and Hezbollah in Latin America, as we just heard this morning, again, history was made. We owe an enormous debt of gratitude to our dear friend, Luisa Magro.